Alright, so what is up guys, it's Legendary EA, back here for another episode of the Dolphins franchise, and it's time for week one, we are taking on the New England Patriots, and we're trying to get this dub here. Now, Nick Saban, he believes that we have a good roster, and he believes that Ryan Tannehill and no Sean Moreno can lead us to the promised land. Me personally, I don't believe in Ryan Tannehill, but that's just me. Ryan Tannehill has been in the league for three years, and he hasn't done anything significant. But for some reason, Nick Saban thinks that he can turn him into a winner. You guys know Nick Saban. He turns he turns players and makes them look good, even when they aren't. Example, look at Trent Richardson. Look at Mark Ingram. Had great careers at Alabama. They come to the league, and they're trash. But anyways, let's get into this week one matchup versus the Patriots. We're at home, so we got to get this dub. Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Opening week in the NFL is an exciting time for everybody, including these two teams here today. Now let's get you out to Sun Life Stadium where Jim Nance and Phil Sims have the call. Welcome to the Arios Network, and today we have a crazy thriller as former Alabama head coach Nick Saban looks to win his first game of the season at home. Saban says he wants to run it down their throats and lead his team to victory. So this should be a good one as the Dolphins take on the New England Patriots at home. So alright, what is up guys? This is Legendary EA here for episode 2 in week 1 of the Dolphins franchise. You know we got Nick Saban coming in and Lamar, Lamar Miller just had a huge return. So in this game, you already you already heard what Ariel's had to say. We can run it up their throats. We're just gonna just try to run them over on every single play, and we are we are gonna try to run every single play. Be real with you. But anyway, shout out to Ariel's Games for that voiceover right there. Check out his channel. His link is in the description. He does some crazy, amazing broadcasts. And look at that huge throw to Mike Wallace, Ryan Tennyan starting off the season in a nice way with that bomb, dude. Let's go. That's what's up, man. He just lobbed it downfield, and Mike Wallace is right there to get the reception and the touchdown in the end zone. That's what I like to see, a fast receiver. And I'm happy he didn't drop the ball, because our receivers, man, they do not have the best hands. Man, Mike Wallace starting it off good. And we do have a pretty raw defense right here. Raw defense is second and 10. You already know, we are coming in with everybody. Let's go. Tom Brady gets sacked in the backfield. And look, a linebacker's getting all hype. Back here for third and ten. We are coming. We're coming in. Let's go. He's so lucky he got that ball off. I was trying to kill him right there, man. So right back here on fourth and one, we managed to get the first down with no Sean Moreno. And Lamar Miller and him are both pretty raw, so it's whatever. Look at Mike Wallace doing work still. Our leading receiver, man. Him and Jarvis Landry. This season, they got to do work. But we are going to the hurry-up offense. Let's see what we can do here. We're, we mostly do slants, but look, we find him again let's go and he gets us about 20 yards doing work out here back here on offense oh doing the screen dude Lamar Miller anytime we run the screen we use him and he goes all the way to the house you guys already know it dude he's the fastest he's like the second fastest guy on the team he's either number one number two it's either him or Michael Wallace they both got some crazy speed back here on defense let's see what Tom Brady doing he throws it um oh, come on you gotta get the pick on that man he threw it right to you Man, that's disrespectful. I mean, anyways, we do lose a linebacker, and at the end of the game, I found out that he actually broke his wrist, so he's out for the rest of this season. And you know what? That sucks, but we're going to have to build up on defense, make a few trades, and do all that. And look. Oh, man. We cannot let them keep doing that, man. We cannot let them keep doing that. Can't let them keep doing that. That's some BS, man. All right, back here. Getting another sack on Tom. What? He, what the? Oh, big mistake. He throws an interception to... Cortland Finnegan. Cortland Finnegan, the only time that I used to remember him doing anything is when he got his ass beat by Andre Johnson. Well, that's a topic for another <laughs> another video. But, man, I honestly do like this series, man. I like doing Madden. Like, I play football in real life, so I usually just play Madden just to have some fun. But doing this series, I think we're going to enjoy it. Back here to the screen, Lamar. Oh, no Sean getting some more yards right there. These screens be working, but if that was Lamar, that was going to the house. It was. But right back here, look at Lamar getting some yards, man. That's what I like to see from him. Lamar Miller. He doesn't get a lot of touches, but he still does his job when he does. Back here on defense, our, our D-line is coming. They're throwing it downfield, and wow, our secondary is getting exposed. 
and they are going to hurry up I was for we are already up by 14 so yo we gotta I want to blow these guys out come on come on go get him go get him oh man I'm so mad he got the ball up I wanted that sack so bad that's by Jones can we get him oh uh, he broke the tackle really and he gets him the first down yeah that's some cheese man that pisses me off but now Tom Brady gets his ass right let's go let's go I'm telling you our defense we probably have the best defense in the NFL in this game I don't really watch the Dolphins in real life but if their defense plays like this they they should be wrong so they're making a mistake somewhere but there's a there's about a minute left in the second quarter oh we managed to get a sack Tom Brady does not know what he's doing everybody was covered up and it's fourth and goal so we had to force we forced them basically to a field goal man our defense is playing they're playing great man I ain't gonna lie they're playing really great but this is the end of the second quarter and we just get a big run just to increase the stats a little bit back here in the third oh we're making fun get the ball get the ball get the there we go Corlin Finnegan with the full recovery when I was actually playing the game I was like why the hell is he standing there go get the ball what are you doing but man, honestly, I want you guys to comment down below how you guys are liking this series. If you guys believe that we can actually make it to the playoff this season, because this game we're playing great so far, but we still gotta we still gotta fix a few mistakes. Mainly, we need some linebackers, we need a D lineman, and probably some better receivers because Brian Hartline, I learned, he cannot catch. But look at all oh, Tannehill's turning on them burners, and he's uh, trying to get in the slide, man. But Tannehill has some secret speed, man. He has secret speed. And look, Lamar, oh, that was a nice cut, but he cannot make it, man. He cannot make it there. Dang. And the bad part is that I believe we went for it on fourth down, and we did not get, oh, we actually went for the field goal. So we're, we're beating these guys about 14 points. They got, yeah, they, they suck. But... <laughs> And I don't know what's going on with the Patriots, but look at that huge sack on Tom Brady. His old line is not caring for him right now. They are getting destroyed by our D-line. Ooh. Hacker on office, handing up the ball. Okay, breaking tackle. Let's go, let's go. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Get him. Oh, man. He stopped him. Crazy run by Nostrad Moreno. If he can only do that on every single play, maybe... Maybe we'll just be destroying them completely. Oh, but nice run right there again. Man, our offense is its great, man. We don't really pass the ball a lot, but on that running game, you can't stop us. All right, heading up the ball on a counter. Let's go. Take it all the way. Take it. Oh, man, he came out of nowhere and got me. Man. But Madden is honestly fun. I was thinking about doing a player franchise, but I thought about it. I do my GM. Why not do another team in Madden instead? And we we go with the running gun. So let's see what we can do right here. Trying to take it to the house. Lamar Miller is bursting through defenders. And in second and goal, let's see what we can do right here. Tannehill, he's running. He says, "No, what? There's nobody open." Ah, he almost gets the touchdown, and he stopped at the two. Man, it's third and goal. Maybe we can get it. Who knows? So running the halfback smash and Nick Saban, he's looking to get his first career win back in Miami. Let's see what we can do right here. Let's see what we can do. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. And no Sean Moreno gets us the touchdown. He hurdled a defender barely, but <laughs> he still did it, man. It's it's great because he almost got tackled right there. So that's a nice run by No Sean Moreno. And we are, this is officially an ass We we are, we are giving it to the Patriots. Who thought that the Dolphins would actually be able to do that? And look at Tom taking another field, and it gets picked off by Grimes. Grimes is grimy, man. He's grimy, man. I, I like playing with him. He's a great cornerback. And Tom Brady just he made a rookie mistake right there. And he's not a rookie. He's been in the league for like 11 years. So he should know better to, to take that pass. The corner was inside of the receiver. That's a bad, bad combination. Well, he's kind of he's underneath him, but it was easy to get in front of him. Throwing it. Oh, that was close to being a pick. Good thing that DB has no hands. All right, there we go. Uh, get, oh, uh, man. This is crazy. I never thought in a million years that the Dolphins would be able to do this to the Patriots. Did you guys believe that this was possible? I didn't. We made a few roster moves, but dang. This is kind of crazy. Tannehill backing up, throwing it. Let's go. Dang. This, this game is pretty much over because we're just going to run off the clock. Oh, nice run. Get the first down. Let's go. They cannot stop our running game. Back here with another screen. Throwing it off. Let's go. 
Let's go, Lamar. Let's go, Lamar. Oh, he stayed in bounds and gets the touchdown. Low key, I thought he was out of bounds, but Lamar Miller. Second TD of the day on the same play, but to the other side. Lamar Miller is killing it. We are up 31 to 3. So, I don't know, man. The Patriots are going to have to. They need something because they need receivers. They need something. But we come out with this dub and we beat them 31 to 3. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of week one of the Dolphins franchise. Week two will be coming out in a few days. And other than that, crazy stuff is going to be happening in my Lakers, my GM. And also, yeah, comment about what you guys thought about this gameplay. And if you guys believe that Nick Saban can lead his team to the playoffs and, hell, even the Super Bowl, if our defense keeps playing like this. But, man, this was a crazy day for everybody. No Sean Moreno. You already know he killed it. I believe he got like 100-something yards. Lamar Miller, that boy killed it, too. And Ryan Tannehill did some amazing things. He made some great passes, especially on that first touchdown to Mike Wallace. Mike Wallace, he led the receivers in reception yards. So, yo, they, they all balled. They all balled. There's just no doubt about it. They, they all just balled out there. And Ryan Tannehill, let's see. He gets a 144 QB rating, and he got 250-something passes. Oh, 239 passes, passing yards, but... Yo, he played great. He got three touchdowns, too, and zero interceptions, so he is doing something right, obviously. Let's check out this running game, though. No, Moreno, 129 yards. Lamar Miller, 54 yards. But Lamar Miller barely got any carries. No, Sean got about 20, so, yo, this was a crazy game. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, y'all.